Hey guys, Chris here from Mixdown Online. Now, today I want to show you how to go from this to this. Using the new plugin from Eventide called Fission. Eventide Fission. Now this new type of effect separates the incoming audio signal into two parts. Okay, basically we get the transient content, which is on top and in blue, and then the tonal content, okay, which I call the body of the sound, which is down below in green. And these two independent streams or content are processed individually with custom Eventide effects then they're both combined together. Now you can use Eventide Fission as a special effects plugin or as a utility tool. There's a lot of stuff you can do with Fission and for you sound designers, you are gonna love this plugin. All right, so now if we activate Fission, okay, what we're gonna get here are two lines, okay? We're gonna have the information here in the window right here, so on top. On top, we have the transient information and at the bottom, the tonal information. Okay, so if we bring that knob up, now this is the focus knob, this is a very important knob here. Okay, so if we bring it up, it's gonna bring the entire signal into the transient section of the plugin. And then if we bring it way down, it's gonna bring the entire signal into the tonal section of the plugin. Now, let's just solo this section. Okay, we're gonna solo the transient section. So if we solo that section, there's no signal, okay? We have to bring the signal into this transient section. So by bringing the signal way up, we, we hear like 100% of the signal. Now, if we bring that down, we are gonna remove the tonal section of the sound. Okay, and we're gonna be left with the transients only. Now this is very, very cool. And from that point, we can actually add some special effects if we activate that part, okay? So let's keep going here. So now I have some delay. And here we have the um, the effects we can add on this section. Okay, so we have delay, tap delay, dynamics, phaser, reverb, gate EQ. Okay, so you can actually select the effects that you want to apply to the transient, but you need to remove the tonal, uh, the, the tonal part of the signal. Okay, and then apply that effect to what is left, which is the transient. Now, if you bring that down you're gonna be left out with nothing, okay? So it's it's always a matter of balancing between a transient signal and the tonal signal. Now, if we bring that out and then bring back the two signals, if we click on play here, nothing will happen, okay? Because both sections are, uh, are at the same volume. Okay, so if I send the signal to the uh, transient side, okay, or the tonal side for that matter, we're gonna hear the same thing. Now this is where the magic happens, okay? If I bring the gain down, okay, the gain of the transient side, if I bring that one down, I'm gonna be left with the body, okay, or the tonal side of the sound, okay, the tonal content of the sound. Now this will create a very interesting sound, okay, because we're gonna have the tonal part of the sound without the transient. Now pretty cool stuff. Okay, from that point, uh, you can add some effects on the uh, the body or the tonal part of the sound if you want to. So we have pitch, we have delay, uh, we have a compressor, reverb, tremolo. Let's try this one out. Pretty cool. Okay, now uh, what we have here, okay, what we have here on the source type. Now I have general, which applies to a lot of sources, but right now, since I'm working on the guitar, I can select the, the source I'm working with. Okay, so I'm going to select guitar. And then uh, let's say I want to just 
work on the um, the transients. Okay, let's say I just want to keep the transients. I can then solo the transient side if I want, or simply lower the gain of the tonal side. Okay, now let's add some chorus into the tonal content of the sound. I'm just going to solo the tonal part. And now, as you can see, the chorus effect is only applied on the tonal part of the sound and not on the transient content. Now, what I'm going to do is add a delay to the transient content of that sound. That's pretty cool. Okay, so there's a lot of stuff you can do here. You can go nuts if you want this. So it's a very, very good creative tool. Now the smoothing knob here. Uh, basically, this will remove any artifacts that can be uh, that can come with the, uh, the the splitting process. Okay, so it will smooth the transition between uh, the tonal and transient content, and the trans decay will do the, basically the same thing, but only one way from the transient to the tonal. So it's always a matter of balancing both to get a smooth transition if needed. Now let's use this plugin to fix the, uh, the pitch of a tom. Okay, very simple. Now what you can do here, you can use um, Fission as an utility tool, okay? Now let's try to pitch down the sound of the tom and keep that natural. Okay, so that is the, um, the original sound. Okay, now what I'm gonna do here, um, I am first gonna solo the transient. So you can hear what that sounds like. Okay, and then we have the body of the sound without the transient. And you balance that out right here with the focus knob. Now, from that point on, what I can do is I want to keep the original transient, but work on the body of the sound and maybe pitch down the, um, the tonal part of that sound. So I'm just going to activate the lower part. And I selected pitch. And then let's bring that down, the pitch down a bit. All right, so I'm just going to unsolo that. That's pretty cool. We started with this. And we have this now. Okay, let's bring that up a bit. All right, so now it's just a matter of balancing these the transition. Bring that down again, a bit lower. So that's pretty cool. So this is actually something you can do with Fission. All right, so now let's get into our drum loop that we added at the beginning of the video. Okay, so now what I did here is very simple. I did so a bit of automation because all the settings here, all the knobs here can be automated in your DW. Very practical, uh, very useful to, um, to be able to create like nice effects and um, you know, sound design stuff and special effects on your sound. Amazing. Now what I did here, let's, um, what I, okay, what I did here, if I remove the effects, this, this is what we have. I added a delay on the transient part. And I have a tremolo on the body of the sound. And some automation on the mix knob. If I bypass it, 
If I want to, I can only keep the transient. And bounce that on another separate track and treat that separate from the tonal if I want. If I want to add more effects uh, without using these effects, if I'm, I don't want to be limited to the effects that are available right now, um, I can actually do so. I just have to bounce everything uh, on a track and you know do whatever needs to be done to add some, some more effects on the transient part of the sound. And I can do the same with the tonal part as well. Now this is pretty cool. So now here on top, what we have is the mix knob, okay? And we have the gain, okay? We can play with the gain of the plugin and the mix knob right here. Uh, so let's try this out. So if I keep, for example, only that tonal part, so I can actually blend that with the original signal. So there's a lot of cool stuff you can do with Fission. Now, I am gonna use this plugin in my future productions, that is for sure. Now, if you wanna try it out, you can actually go on the Eventide website. There's a free trial available. Now, I'm gonna leave the link in the description down below. All right, guys, so this is gonna be it for today. Now, if you have any comments and questions, you can leave them below. And don't forget to share, like, and if you're new here, subscribe and click on the notification bell so you don't miss a thing. All right, guys, take care, and I'll see you next time.